Let's welcome Ashish sir. Good morning. <laughs> no caffeine. This is just hot water. What were your early years like? So I was I was born in Allahabad. Born uh, where? Allahabad, uh, Prayagraj. It was a very encouraging environment at home, to be honest. Uh, my daddy went to get my report card, and uh, I was waiting outside. And then she said, "You got a third rank," and then she bring me three things: uncle chips, and I don't know what the other two were. I really like uncle chips. Oh, so like three three yeah, things yeah, for coming things. third? Yeah, exactly. I was in 10th standard. I don't know why you were telling me this. College me parne ke baad 10 saal lagarna padega. After that, maybe you'll start making money. And I'm like, that's not very encouraging. <laughs> Comfort food? Dal chawal bhindi. Who do you consider a role model and why? Ah, definitely my father. Bizarre talent that you possess that nobody knows about. I don't know. I think I can sing the whole R.D. Burman thing. I'm not going to do it. There's no way I'm going to do it. <laughs>
maybe we'll start making money and i'm like that's not very encouraging <laughs> i don't know architecture is beautiful right it's amazing it's fun to do but uh, you're telling me the harsh reality of how it is and if you're okay with that then it's something you're going to so you didn't want to study so you said no architecture I mean, it was juvenile, maybe, but that was the information I had. So, so yeah. no books, no lawyer. I no, mean, no. <laughs> too many books, no lawyer. Uh, too much studying, so no. No, no it wasn't too much studying. It was after you studied this concept of having to do something for ten years and not getting rewarded for what you did. Right. I, I, it was just seemed like a foreign idea, you know. Because okay. we were used to instant gratification. You play, you get whatever, you know. Yes, right. you're, you're a kid right. in school. Then? And obviously no doctor. I mean, खून से मेरा डर लगता है, so that's not happening. Uh, so <laughs> so then how how did you become a teacher? I mean the whole engineering thing worked out right because I decided uh, not to do biology because I think the doctor thing was not there. My mother was a bio teacher, but anyway, I did engineering. Uh, teaching, yeah, that's an interesting story. So I was in college and uh, my school teacher, her name is Aruna Ma'am, she wonderful lady. She got in touch with me and said, "Ki you know, uh, Ashish really need to help this student out." to clear chemistry i was okay in chemistry and maths because i was really i really like these two subjects so it's all right but chemistry and maths um and she gave me the background that this kid is uh, he's not doing too well he was in his 11th grade and if he did not clear his exam he would be asked to leave school and uh that's a big deal like right? having to change from 11th grade whatever school at 12th grade and you have all these competitive exams that come up so it seemed like a huge huge pressure but uh, i felt like i you know couldn't be responsible for his life that's what i i was in i was a college kid what what would i do to help him so uh, very sweet guy he still in touch with me he did clear those exams uh, his marriage i think is happening in the end of this month which is november we were taping wow. november right so yeah he says in touch he pings me every time on teachers day and on my birthday very sweet guy so i realized i could teach and maybe maybe sometime i'd get into it you know so nice yeah. so that's how you become a teacher and you you explored all the possible options and then uh landed up as a teacher elimination which, you know how it goes here <laughs> by elimination but, but i i would say we are very lucky because if you hadn't chosen that then what would our students here have done so uh, it's a good thing i would say okay so this was fun but we are going to move into another section of our show which oh. is actually a very exciting section oh, yeah? and this is what we call The rapid fire round. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to ask you uh, some questions really fast, okay. and you have to try and answer them as spontaneously as you can. Without thinking. With, yeah, with as less thinking as you can. Okay. Okay. So, are you ready? Hmm? Okay. So, first question: What's the most beautiful place that you've ever visited? Oof, that's a tough one. Any beach, I think. I really like beaches, Surat, Kal, Bombay, even Chennai. I really like the beaches there. No specific beach? I like them all. I'm I I can't choose. It's a very hard thing to choose. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh what's your favorite place to unwind after a really long day? At my home because we have these Hare Krishna kirtans always playing so it's got this very spiritual atmosphere so. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Comfort food? Da uh, dal chawal bhindi. <laughs> I also like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who do you consider a role model and why? Ah, definitely my father. Yeah, uh, and why he's led by example, you know, all these years. So bizarre talent that you possess that nobody knows about. This rapid fire thing is hard. I don't, I don't know. I think I can sing the whole R D Burman thing. I'm not going to do it. There's no way I'm going to do it. But <laughs> I was just yeah. about to ask. <laughs> you okay. know the Chankar Beat song. Which one? The Chankar, Chankar Beat song. Yeah. You can sing that. I think so. One line for us. He goes. थोड़ी मस्ती थोड़ी यारी थोड़ा प्यार झंकार वाओ I I I was not prepared to do that. I was not prepared to do that today. I practiced this a lot in school. I don't think this worked out, but anyway, yeah. No, no, very nice. Great. Okay, so with that, uh we're coming to a close of our lovely conversation. So, do you have any message for our students? Yeah, I think the main thing that I want to suggest is that do a deep dive whatever you're doing yeah doing things superficially you know just for a test or an exam may get you marks but I think in life it's really important to go into the details because god is in the details so this is something that we definitely can learn from whatever you do dive in don't just sort of you know uh, look at it superficially don't just um pretend to gloss over it but if you really want to do something go actually do it and you're sure to succeed right 
Okay. So with that, a uh, big thank you to all of you for joining us. Thank you Ashish sir. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Please have your tea or water. <laughs> If you had to put all the learnings from this episode in a word, what would that be? Share with us in the comments below.